Okay, so <clears throat> wasp medicine, divine feminine. Okay, that's within all of us. The knowing. Um, yeah. So there are things happening. Okay, as we come into union, we should expect this, right? Um, you know, people who want to cling on to your energies, whether they consciously are aware of it or not, okay, they're they're coming in during dream time, dream time, okay, in the astral, whatever. And, um, you know, it's just the entities that are working with low vibratory people who are trying to energy transfer and suck your light through using these people, okay? Could be family members, friends, okay, so this is, anyway, God gave me Rivka, okay, meaning... New family, everything. I had to let go. All family, all friends. Every single last one of them. Okay? So. The dream last night, so I shared the part with Ashton, or, or I like to say Christopher, because, anyway. Um, people to get triggered or whatever. <laughs> God, it's just, it's ridiculous, the subversion and the whatever. Okay, so. <clears throat> but, the, okay, this is to be expected. Okay, because Twin Flame Union is very close for a lot of you. Okay, so just divine partnership, Twin Flame, okay, Soul Tribe coming back into a line. Okay, the people that need to do work, they're going to do whatever they need to do. But the people who are aligned in their heart, it doesn't matter what you're doing. If you're in your heart, okay, you're coming together with the ones you're woven together with from the beginning. So your twin, your, your soul family, okay. Um... So in the dream last night, where I shared, um, you know, I, I wasn't sure if it was, anyway, it was just me tuning in to being, because I'm always just trying to learn for what can I learn here. So just tuning into your masculine and, and focusing on that love, okay, whenever anything ne negative comes up, just release that and focus on love and send it to your masculine, love yourself, connect with, with source, and just have that little trinity, that little bubble, okay, and, um, <clears throat> so there was a part in the dream, and I knew, I sensed this, like, violence thing coming up, and so in the dream, last night, uh, someone who I was with for five years when I lived in Stockton, who was very abusive, uh, he came in and was kind of trying to be possessive and grab me and, like, kiss me. Okay. Um, and I just kind of was, like, observing, just going with it, because I knew oh, I'm in the astral, okay, whatever. But I could feel that going into that retreat mode like I would do, okay? Get kind of scared, retreat, go, okay. Um... And then, but I didn't, I just kind of shut down and kind of was still, let him put his arm around me and just was silent. Yeah, I felt that nervous. Ugh, ugh. Because I was, yeah, anyway, bad relationship. And then with another part of the dream was with my dad. Okay, and I, when he did this, I jumped behind the door and it was open and I told, I, probably the guide I was with or whatever, told them, no, you block this, but I don't want to deal, you deal with it, and nah, I'm not dealing with him, okay. Um, and I don't know if it was whatever attack, this, I don't, all I see is what I can learn from this so I can grow, because God uses everything for his good, so that's what I try to do, look through God's eyes, so, <clears throat> excuse me, so with, with my dad, um, I don't say father because my father's in heaven, but he, and I don't have communication, but okay, no contact, no nothing. That's, that's the old life. It's over, dead, cut, and, um, and that's in the Bible. God gave me Rivka, so I know this is not, okay, this is my divine guidance, and I've done my due diligence when it comes to people, okay, so, <clears throat> and when God tells you it's time to move on, it's time to move on. Okay, so he, and I've seen this thing on the internet when I was like, so, I think it was, um, InfoWars, yeah, I think it, 
uh, they're saying like Flocka, talking about Flocka bath salt. So I looked it up. I'm like, oh, Flocka is this bath salt stuff, okay. And then I watched a couple videos. So this naked man running, jumping into the back of a uh, car, smashing the windshield. Like, okay, so that's what my dad did in this dream, but he ran against the front door. So it was open and, and against the wall. So he, he just ran as hard as he could, full force, slammed against the wall, and then fell down, and it was like, I thought he killed himself, okay, there was like blood on the floor, but then he kind of got, uh, I'm like, oh, he's not, I'm like, nah, this, um, so, but that's what, like, okay, when you're being shown, so demons are trying to attack you, whatever, okay, God knows that what you can handle, and you're, okay, I'm not going to let anything happen that's going to harm you. So it was just showing me that people, and in the past, I know people think that, oh, just because you're, oh, Levi and the daughter and the high priest and high priestess and that you had some great relationship with your dad and that, no, he was always, apparently, the same way all the time. Very controlling, possessive, didn't want me to um, have a mate, want, you know, wanted to just me run the temple and be the high priestess and not okay, have any joy, just blah, 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 jealous, possessive, okay, because he didn't have it, didn't want me to have it, whatever, okay, um, yeah, so I feel like he's always been like that, you know, just because you're this or that, or you got money, or you're fit, doesn't mean you ain't got problems, okay, <laughs> might have even more problems, um, I mean, eating probably ain't one of them, but, okay, you're eat, you're, you're eating, you're fed, but okay, you know, can't stop you from getting your heart broke and having, you know, being attacked by people, whatever. So, um, we're gonna pull some cards. Oh, and I didn't mention. I'm watching back the video. I'm like, the five chirps. Okay, the chirps, crickets from Andromeda. Okay, and it says in the booklet for the Andromeda card mentions crickets. Okay, so because different star systems, they have different certain looks about them, there's different animals that come from that star system, including mammals, insects, different, okay, benevolent ones, okay, we're not talking about the archonic infection with the mosquito, all the vampiric blood sucking that are created in their Nazi labs, okay, like God uses everything for his gift, hey man, you can take the mosquito and, and do the love injection, but God doesn't impose on free will, so. The five represents the fire, which is the Lyran. Okay, the the Leo, Lyran, the sun, the heart, the fire. Okay, so five, Faye, the five, the Lyran. Okay, that's the fire. Okay, so that's the five of the chirps. That was the five, and the chirps were the... And I shared that in a, in a video. Um, it was the night when I went on a walk, and the geese, and the chirping. The, oh, God. So... Um, we'll come to find out the little water treatment plant, so it wasn't actually that far away, so a big group of crickets, yeah, it was, um, made sense that I could hear it, because I didn't know there was a, anything until I went on that walk, I'm like, oh, okay, now it makes sense that there was, I was hearing all these crickets, but those are Andromedan, okay, so, the five and the crickets, five, Lyran, because the fire, the crickets, Andromedan, because the animal, okay, and, um, so now we're going to get into some cards just to, <clears throat> got Ganesha, got the unicorns. I knew I saw I would see a third one, so I was thinking next time I pulled, pulled the angel cards, I would see them, but it wasn't the next time. But it was this most recent time <laughs> that I did, so that enchantment card with Archangel Michael. Okay, have the unicorn on there, and, um, oh yeah, and then it mentioned in the white gold dragon from Lyra, okay, um, the unicorns, the ascended masters, okay, so that's why we're going to get Ganesha here, so in the past life when we were mixed up, looked different thing like Ganesha, no, okay, Raphael, Jesus, okay, but then in a, the most recent incarnation, he had to look more like how... They always came in looking like what everybody's looking like. So we could all fit in. Okay. So... Oh, there was some download I was getting. Um, 
Oh, I can't remember. But yeah, like rebuilding schools and all that, you know, they weren't built built on the foundation of God. We, we got to have a homestead, the farm, where we had church, school, everything right there all together. The family, the, the homestead, okay? And you had neighboring homesteads, okay? And you helped each other out. You know, when you got men getting together and building the log homes. And God's yoke is easy. You just be in your heart. You be heart. God's yoke is easy. Open. Receive. That's where you're fully dilated. All the work is just to get you fully dilated. That's you getting in your heart and staying there. Okay. We, we don't need school. They want to sep. Oh, that's the thing I was getting. They want to separate you. Okay. Got all the kids doing all this stuff. Got mom doing her girls night out. Got dad doing his. Got them all separated. Just like the scene in Poltergeist. Um, was it? I think it was two. Um. Or was that one? Oh, it might have been one. I can't... Uh, yeah, I think it was one. Poltergeist one. So anyway, the Native American guy. Okay, when all the... He's drink... Dad's drinking the liquor and the worms and then... Okay. And then the 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 brother, like the teenage... Like the boy, okay, he's in the bathroom. And his, like the braces are coming out and going all over his face. Okay, so everyone's like... The stuff is happening to everyone... Because what they're really trying to do is distract everyone, get them all fighting against each other, so they can get at the the little girl that re represents that pure childlike joy and love, the, the light of the world. Okay, because they want to extinguish that light, which is the one four four K, which we keep coming back here to. Okay, and why we have to forget is because we have to rebuild the template. Because as we're rebuilding that, that brings forth the rebuilding light codes, okay? So other, that inspires other, and it's like a domino effect, okay? So, um, so that was the download I was getting about, well, why do we have to come down here and forget them? Because we got to do it all through the body, the whole process. That's how we reactivate all the templates by doing that, okay, through the body. Because we have to make it available for everybody else. So, and then they do that, and then their monad gets activated. Okay, so it's all connected, right? So, okay, let's do a gem oracle first. To so anyway, schools, hospitals. These are all places of yeah, the enemy. These these were not built on. We can't fix schools, honey. I love you, but we can't fix schools. <laughs> We have to knock them all the way down. There's no foundation. The foundation's God. If it doesn't have a foundation of God, it ha it, it, there's nothing there. They, it just needs... Jesus just needs to come and be king so everything can go back to the natural way again, which is all we need to do is be stewards of the earth. We're doing everything. We All we need to do is be stewards of the earth. God gives us our daily bread, including whatever guidance we need for that day. Okay, not just bread, but spiritual bread. <clears throat> we don't need to have some grandmaster plan. We don't need to be an engineer. We, we need to be stewards of the earth, period. That's it. Get out of them hospitals, the schools. The, uh, get out. <laughs> get out of their ways. Get out of their ways, yeah. Uh-huh. Their directives are not directives. It's misguidance. And it's, and it's by design. And the people executing it don't even know what they're doing. They think they're helping. They think they're educating people. But no. You're never going to be able to, to teach <coughs> truth in school. Okay? That, it's not what it's for. It's for programming. Okay? And that's what programming is on TV. The programming. Yeah. Just there to support the advertisements. It's all about money. Oh, light amethyst. This is what we need to do. <clears throat> this is third eye. This is Neptune seven. Oh, that's the Asana. Let's look that up. Oh, we got Virgo with smoky quartz on the bottom. Oh, interesting. Unless that's Oh, no, I think that's Uranus. Is that Uranus? Which would be... 
Aquarius. Yeah, I believe that's your, yeah, because Neptune is the like little for yeah, Uranus, because I remember with the hole is like, oh, Uranus, okay, I'm sorry. So there's Virgo on the bottom with, oh, that's throat shocker, I thought that was third eye. Still blue, okay, so Archangel Michael. Yeah, see how it's more crown? And there's another third eye. Okay. I don't know why, it's, and that's my birthstone, Garnet, 13, Sag, Fire. <laughs> so, crown, the top card is crown, bottom is throat, and then we have third eye, so Archangel Michael, okay, he's the upper, higher, okay, so that purple, that's what I'm saying, okay. Um, I think this is like, um, no, angelite is like the dream. Let's just see. Light amethyst. Okay. Yeah, developing and expressing the feminine. Illuminate the darkness. Heal inner child and past. Yeah, this is being... Okay, seven. The highest vibration... Spiritual is to be like a child again. That's the highest vibration. Purple. Okay? Seeing through the eyes of the child. That's seeing through the eyes of God, seeing through your heart. That's your heart's perception, your third eye, okay? Being one, dissolving the duality. This is the high, this is the enlightenment, okay? Uranus, right? Isn't that Uranus? Yep, Uranus, okay? So that rules Aquarius, correct? So this is what's, okay? The dawning of the age of Aquarius, and it's, yeah, it's air, okay? Air sign, Aquarius. Hello. So the asana is prayer hands, right? And I saw that on a, a video or a sign or something was, okay, just the prayer hands, okay? And also, is my Padmasambhava like that? I can't remember if it is or not. I think he's, no, he's holding the lotus, I believe. So... It's called Ajnali Mudra, prayer hands, Mudra, Ajnali Mudra. So Ajnali, yeah, because Ajna, Agna or Ajna, that's what third eye is, okay? So, so having your hands, right, or an extension of your heart, okay, and your eyes reflect, so it's like being one, okay? hands together two sides of the same right you're we're one our light and our darkness okay so this is illuminating the darkness and then accepting it dissolving it so uh this is a sleep aid okay because it's a very high uh vibration purple it's the highest and then it goes to the white the ultraviolet okay and that's the most pure that's why it's so calming because it's so pure so relaxing, calming, pacifying, yeah. What else does it say? Uh, intuition, beauty, okay, so like empress, okay. Creativity. Sweetness, yeah. Beautiful. Shed light on our fears. Okay, exactly. That's what my dream was doing. Okay? Yeah. A fear of ever hurting my mask. I never want to hurt my mask. A fear. I don't know what that was with Christopher. It's like, yeah, no, I don't want to. <laughs> I'll stop being sarcastic. I don't know. I'm sad rising. Just tell me, hey, I'm not in the mood or something. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm practical. I can... My face might get red and get a little embarrassed. Okay, well, I'll get over it. Because <laughs> um, I can talk and interrupt. Just tell me if I'm in Just say, you're interrupting. <laughs> I'm really like, yeah, I'm very diplomatic like that. I'm, I've, I've evolved to that. You know, God, because <laughs> <of> God, <laughs> the grace of God. So... What else? One more thing here. Oh, insomnia. Yeah, I thought I, that Nine of Swords keeps coming up, so insomnia. So some of you might really need to, you know, get out any am amethyst or purple stone that you have 
anything that's like fuchsia, like pink, purple, higher than the, um, you know, just like th those higher, the fuchsia, pink or purple or white, those colors. <clears throat> and lay it by your bed or just maybe carry one on, or you got some jewelry that has that. So get your amethyst out and just feel, oh, um, being an important point of reference for friends and family. Yeah, it's a lot of pressure. Okay, it's it's a it's a, such an honor, a beautiful honor, right? But it's a lot of pressure too. Okay, and we have feelings, and okay, the ones that you feel like you're that. Okay, um, like what my dad would do is like suck that light and just use it, like what they do did to Edgar Casey until he was. <laughs> <laughs> I channeled like a little funny skit. I was like, hey, Ed Edgar, I got a question for a day And they're like, um, he's dead? And they're like, oh, damn it, I just needed to know if maybe you could help me out. Do you know? If, could you answer this question? Da -da 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 -da? I'm just like, man, it's right. It's vampires, man. Fuck. Ugh. Okay, so. The dragon deck, I'm not going to pull those, those, I just, yeah, that's right, that was just to remind me to clarify, because I went back and watched the video, I'm like, oh man, I, I should take notes, but it's like, I ain't got time to take notes, I'll forget shit, I just gotta jump on camera, and start writing it down, I'm like, oh man, now I forgot, now I really forgot, but then new things will come in too while you're recording, Or, and I, like when you'll go and watch back your videos or something else will come in so or you go back to old old ones you're like oh no I get what God's trying to tell me it's all right there okay so Ganesha Ganesha Ganapati. I like to say Ganapati because it sounds like Wapati, which is elk. And elk is one of my totems. Big one. Especially for Capricorn. Oh! Okay, sustenance. What did I just say about God giving us our daily bread? <gasps> and it's a seven. Just like, oh my God, you guys. I fucking, I swear to God. I'm like shaking. I'm like, look. I'm not trying to shake out seriously, okay? Look it. Where's the seven? Okay. I saw that I'm just like, I just said daily bread, sustenance, seven. Seven. Laren, Laren, okay? Lion heart of God. Lion of Judah. Uda, Uda, okay? Whew! Determination is 21 and that reduces to a 3. Okay, and just like that Greenwich Village, Greenwich Village, 37, okay, 3, Christ Consciousness, 7, the Spiritual Path. Determination, 21, oh my god, and 21 is 7, 7, 7. You guys, I can't fucking make this shit up. Okay, we have personal transformation on the bottom with 55, or is that 35? What does it say? I'm seeing it in the camera. I'll see it better. Is that 35 or 55, you guys? <laughs> I think it's 35. Okay, so that's 8. Okay. And personal transformation. Oh, see how it looks like Saturn? Looks like Saturn and Pluto. Oh, shit. Personal transformation. Ha <laughs> 8. Karmic balancing. Oh, yeah. Boom! Mars. Boom! Pluto. Boom! Saturn. Right? The fire with Mars. Firing it up. Yeah, getting it started. So, <laughs> tower card. Mm-hmm. Death card. Death, right? Facing your darkness. Shedding light on the darkness. Personal transformation. You gotta be determined and make it to the end. Healing. And that's, oh, look at the peacock. I knew there was a lady walking around town had a peacock. Feather. Oh, dude. And there was a lady in Grass Valley that had a peacock feather. <laughs> And then the gem store. I hope it's not a gang stalking thing, but I mean, it, if it is, it's, that's 
that's a beautiful way to be gang stalked. <laughs> So like, did I mention that on video? And then I see a lady walking around with a peacock feather. You know, so healing, boom. He will come with healing in his wings. Okay. Gets all quad. Okay, Jesus comes back as different. Okay, look it. You gotta fit in with the people so we don't stand out. And brain's right? gotta fit in. Healing, personal transformation, and that's a. These threes and fives look a lot alike. Is that a 35? So 35, 36. So we got eight and nine. Look, it's just coming along famously, aren't we? And that's six times six, okay? Beautiful. Look at that indigo blue, that emerald green. That's like Archangel Michael, that gold. Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael. Again, Archangel Michael here. We have that purple violet, okay? Seven, the seven chakras, the crown chakra. Okay, even though this is the third eye, but seeing clearly what God's telling us: determination, sustenance, a fire. Okay. Yes. Oh, and seven is also. Well, this is the world. Determination. Get it. Get to the end. Okay. Determination, 21, world card, Saturn, okay, Capricorn, sustenance, seven, great mother, cancer, chariot card, okay, the heart sustains us, the heart directs us, the heart brings us joy, the heart brings us clarity. Okay, now unicorns. Unique unicorn, unique unicorn, unique unicorn. Right? Is, is that... Get warmed up. <laughs> unique unicorn. I just had to say it one more time. I have OCD when it comes to saying unique unicorn. <laughs> okay. Ooh, I see freedom on the bottom. Adventure on the top. Oh, yeah, that's what we're talking about. We're determined. Woo! Oh, that was quite a bit. Okay, we'll take them though. Adventure, still on top there, okay? Dare to do things differently. Manifest your travel dreams. Move to a new location. <laughs> Yay! That's what we're doing. New location in your soul's evolution, too. Your personal transformation. Because here's rebirth on the bottom. Okay? Rebirth. Transformation. Okay? Ultimately, getting to that healing. Personal transformation. Rebirth. Oh, that's Scorpio. Death card. I'm telling you. Tower. What was it on the top? Oh, yeah. Adventure. Boom. Eight of Wands. I'm telling you. Okay, that's communication, that's traveling, that's being with your divine feminine, divine masculine, divine feminines, divine masculines. Oh, beautiful. Oh my God. Oh my God. These, oh, oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Oh my, yod. Okay. <sighs> Holy shit. Okay, so adventure is on the top. Okay. Now, we were determined to make it to the end. We trusted God. Now, we've been totally transformed. I was like, Masculine fire, too. Okay, coming into alignment with the heart's perspective, freedom. So we won't read every single one of. I which one did I read? The top one. Oh, adventure. Let's read the bottom. Rebirth, revival. Oh, I love that one. The revival. It's a spiritual revival. Oh, it didn't say that. It says reinvent. Oh my gosh. You guys, okay, but whatever. Same thing. <laughs> it's a revival. Reinvent yourself. Give life to your dreams. Create a new reality. That's right, everyone. And it's on you. Okay? Freedom. And look at that purple and the white. It's Archangel Michael, I'm telling you, it's coming in. Is that a pe That's a Pegasus. Yeah, I don't see a horn, but okay. Pegasus, boom. So, 
Star Seed, Pegasus, okay? So if you uh you know if you resonate with that, okay? So that's for you. <clears throat> Trust. Again, another Pegasus that has doesn't have a horn, I don't think. Pegasus, okay? Winged. They man, do they all have wings? They don't all have wings though. Yeah, see this one doesn't. Adventure, this is on the ground, doesn't have wings. I don't see this one having wings, okay, but they both have horns. Now, these are Pegasuses, all of them. Okay, look, it doesn't have a horn. This is the time of your wings. Okay, healing in his wings. He's coming with healing in his wings. Woo! They're all Pegasuses. Free, Pegasi? <laughs> Freedom. Passion. Possibility. They're all Pegasus, yeah. Pegasi. <laughs> oh, this one has, you know, the, oh my God. The abundance, the rainbow, you could have it all. Okay, you get unicorn and Pegasus. <laughs> oh my God, you guys. And trust. Okay, that's like being a, I did that one where you had to trust and you put your hands down on, everybody's hands are up like this and you pick two hands, one from one person, one from the other, okay. Whoever you try, I was like, where's the biggest dude at? Cause oh god, right? Oh god, I didn't even do the zip line where they're walking across the little slats and stuff. I was too nervous, being all strapped up. But that I climbed up to that tower one, okay, where you just sit, you barely have enough room for both your feet up there, okay? <laughs> Whew. And that one with no straps or nothing. I did that one. Some about I didn't like the straps on me. I, was like, I don't know. My friend Aaron Woolham, beautiful soul. Yeah. That was way back in high school too, soul family. And he was a dad even, yeah. Um, we did like the PIC program because I was in foster care and I think he, he might have gotten into a little trouble and school, whatever. He was, man, these, such, man, he must have been Pleiadian, I swear to God. Trust. That reminded me of him because that was the whole trust thing that we did. That was me up on that. I almost want to cry because it's like, remember there, there's there been beautiful divine masculines all along the way, giving, keeping your faith in men alive or however, okay? Just in humanity or friendship, okay? I haven't seen that person since then, but, but I'm just saying that is always in your heart forever, okay? Trust in the abundance that's coming in, the possibility of all this abundance, the passion, the freedom. Oh, my God. Okay, we're done. I love you guys. Peace be upon you all, and blessings for all. It's coming. Trust, okay? I love you.